So part of the whole project towards the recording of the partitas on tape recorder, release on vinyl, etc, etc. I'm going to do live streams, I will be uploaded and also I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging around the project. Everything will be dedicated to the recording of the partitas only. But if you follow this project a little bit, also the live streams, I will you will know that my studio tape recorder is out again. Same thing, same issue than a few months ago. I've replaced a part then, but it was not what was the problem. Probably there's a circuitry board with one transistor that needs to be replaced. So I contacted Andreas Kuhn in Switzerland who did the refurbishment of the tape recorder. And he sent me on 27th December this package. It's just arrived, 10th of January. I'm here in the kitchen where my tape recorder is. I can show it to you here. It's under some uh, protection. Very, very nice looking. So let's take that off. And together with you, I'll try if things work. So here you have it, and here you have the spare part. So let's change this little switch to this card and normally that should work. In case you might wonder why I'm doing all this effort to record on tape, that that question can only be answered by inviting you here and come and listen. It might surprise you that a musician like I actually is interested in doing this recording stuff, but clavicle is a difficult instrument to record. It really is, and the tape recorder gives a kind of openness and clarity to to the sound of the clavicle, this actually I could have left it because I have two switches now and the, the other one probably is not broken. So this was the original one, which first we thought was the problem, but probably it wasn't. Um, let's just see how this is. When I first heard an, a, a smaller tape recorder, which is it fits perfectly. That gave a sound that was really something opening for me compared to the CD or the digital equipment that we have here. But then this tape recorder, of course this had the big tape recorders, they have a stability and tape guidance that is much better than, uh, than the smaller ones. Just like this, and that stability provides also another sound. Maybe something like that. So I leave this on, that's my original one, and this is the spare part. So let's try and see what Mr. Studer has to say about this circuitry board. So here we are at Mr. Studer's place. It's a beautiful machine, but it has an age. And although the fact that it has been completely refurbished, it uh, still is an old machine. It's unbelievable solid. I don't know if you see it. So the switch has been replaced. Because We plug it in again and see if it has power. There you go. So
So I just try to have a tape on, one handed, must be possible. So about the tape recorder, it, it did work, it did function, but after a while this switch kind of got overheated, probably. And there's a switch that takes care of the movements. So if I play the play the I press the play button. The fact that it works is because of that switch. So now we have to wait. Warm it up, let it warm up and then See what happens. Come back. And so the uh, new contractor board, that's a printer, that's a circuitry board with the switch, is back in the studio and I don't know what to think. It's switching on and off sometimes, like the previous one did at the beginning. So it's, it's either the switch or it's the circuitry board. I have put the old switch as Andreas and Bar in advised me to do on the new circuitry board so now I'm going to switch the switch off again and I will replace the two switches and see what happens there. Before sending so normally that should work. So we remove the switch. That's the original one. This is the one I bought new, it's actually brand new. We'll place that here. Okay, come, let's head over to this tape. Tape recorder. Again. There it is. Let me make sure you can see it. Might be interesting. If you're interested in a little bit of technique. And there you go. It's better than a computer program because if that doesn't work on your computer, mostly they advise you to buy a new computer. It's not the case here. These machines are made for, I wouldn't say for eternity, but for a long time. Okay, there we go. So a new circuitry board with new card. Functions. Hayden. Yeah. So that's being recorded on seven and a half speed. The partitas will go on. Interesting, double speed. Okay, now just we wait. So it has been replaced. You understand? I have replaced Sophia's not going to school today. I have been, she's just had a, had a bath. So. Um, I've just replaced the switch, if, if she's kind of, if you have seen, and so the studio is back up here. The switch did go on and off one time unwanted, so but maybe that's normal. I have to check with Andreas Kuhn again, but it's working now 25 minutes, 30 minutes maybe, and it's still okay. Hopefully it stays like that. If it does, thumbs up for Mr. Studio again, and then we're heading forward to the recordings of the partitas very soon, and be sure you will be noticing that on the channel, of course. So, Sophie, what are you going to do today? She is sick. I think add a little bit of more holiday to uh, the Christmas holiday. Okay. Updates will follow on the recording of the Partitas project with the small vlogs like these. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel as always. See you next time again. Bye. Hmm? See you again. Yeah, let's see.